Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Monday, January 4th, 2016. Uh, so back to work again, back to the regular schedule, alarm going off early. I haven't woken up to my alarm since uh, Christmas Eve, well, the day before Christmas Eve, 23rd was last time. Uh, I have woken up to alarms because the wife always wakes up to an alarm, but, but it's set later. But I had a pretty good Christmas and New Year's. So that, that last week was kind of insanely busy because we were busy uh, cleaning out the house, as I've talked about. So, But I made a point of just kind of, especially like uh, Saturday and Sunday, just kind of relaxing and just kind of uh, letting my batteries recharge a bit so I was ready for um, this week. We went and saw Star Wars for the second time on uh, Saturday afternoon, and that was great fun. Enjoyed that again quite a bit. And one of the other things we've been doing is watching a lot of football because it's been bowl season and we've watched a lot of bowl games we, we, we enjoy watching the bowl games not only for our favorite team although I was very happy to see that Michigan had a very decisive win over Florida in the uh, B-Dubs Bowl Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Bowl I think it was I forget I think it was Citrus Bowl because it was like in Florida and so it should have kind of been a home game for Florida. But it wasn't. Well, it may have been, but Michigan still kind of handled them pretty easily. So, you know, but, you know, college football is done with the exception of the, the national championship game, which is coming up a week from today. So, so yeah, we did see, you know, there were some really good games, you know that we watched, and there were some not good games. There were a lot of blowouts, which is always a danger. And I, I, There was one analyst, we were watching the Oregon-TCU game. I guess this was Saturday night. It's like an 8 o'clock game on Saturday night. And before the game, the guy was complaining about all these blowout games, and the, you know, it was his contention that they needed to expand the playoff roster from four teams to eight so that they could avoid these these um, these blowout games. And then in the Oregon TCU game at halftime, it was 31 to nothing Oregon. You know, so he was even more on the soapbox. But then in the second half, it, it helped that the, the starting quarterback and center for Oregon got hurt, so they were out of the game. But TCU came back to tie it, and finally winning it in the third overtime. And we stayed up to watch that, and that was that was you know the first half was really kind of boring. The second half was really exciting because it was, it was really good football and getting into the into the overtimes. So I enjoyed that quite a bit. But, you know, that's pretty much done. And then last night was the end of the regular season. The last game of the season was Minnesota Vikings visiting my team, the Green Bay Packers. And, you know, the Packers really didn't look that good. It's just such a frustrating thing because they start to pour it on a little bit toward the end of the uh, of the game there and they get within one score but they just can't quite pull it off and it, it it comes down to a you know Hail Mary pass into the end zone which gets knocked down the reality is, is it, it, well the game decided who won the NFC North 
which at this point is just for pride more than anything else, and it does determine whether you're playing at home or playing on the road. I think one thing the Packers proved last night was that home field advantage really isn't meaning that much to them this year. They don't seem to be playing any better at home than they than they are on the road. So now they need to go next week. We're down to we're down to four games for next week because it's the wild card weekend. So we get two for the NFC and two for the AFC. And they said there's only 11 games left for the year. And there's no more Sunday night football. There's no more Monday night football. Which is kind of sad. I must say. Yeah, so, so the end of football is nigh. And then we kind of enter that, that dry spell after the Super Bowl where there isn't a whole lot going on until NASCAR kicks off. But, uh, yeah, so... I felt like talking about today. I want to figure out what to do tonight because there's no football. We've actually got a metric crap ton of of, of stuff to watch in the DVR. So we'll probably need to dive into that a little bit tonight. Get caught up on a few things. But anyway, I think I will let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow. And I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.